Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is CKT Chaotic. Today I will be reading Purple Hyacinth episode 105 to 106. This one is actually the season 2 finale, so yeah, but we're gonna jump right over to the next season, so that way we don't have to wait. That's why I kind of delay on reading a lot of these good ones, so I'm gonna turn on the volume. Hopefully it's not too loud. My volume is pretty high up over here. Let's get started. Purple Hyacinth, episode 105, season two finale. Oh, I totally forgot. It was at the scene of the bomb. Has nine minutes, 44 seconds, and yeah. Nine minutes, right? Not nine hours. <gasps> This much nitroglycerin. <laughs> no. <gasps> oh. <gasps> Damn it! Do they happen to teach you how to defuse bombs at the police academy? I'm trying to see if it's possible to remove the timer from the bomb, but I, I wouldn't be bet on it. My knowledge is too limited. We can't risk cutting any of these wires. The wrong one could trigger the explosion. We need the bomb squad. <laughs> but we lost that damn walkie-talkie. Uh, <sighs> what if we pile all the nitro crates in a corner and throw a nitro bottle at the door? The door isn't a structural requirement, so it, it should be able to hold. That's creative. But hells knows what else is in that this room could collapse. And the shockwave might blow the rest of the bottles. We don't have time or space to move everything far enough to avoid that. You're right. Fuck. 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 We need the bomb squad. Eight minutes and 23 seconds. If we can't defuse the, defuse the bomb, we need to at least try to get it as far as possible from the basement. We still have eight minutes left. I'll break this door down, even if it breaks me. On the count of three. One. Two. Bang! Huh? Bang! Whoa! Bang! We don't have- we don't know how much time we have. All units retreat. Our priority is to evacuate the surrounding civilians. Group D and Bomb Squad stay behind and try to get down to the basement. Did Randall and Hawks get out? Yes, but Hawks insisted on waiting by the car for you. We're the last ones. We couldn't let him back in, but he refused to leave you behind. <laughs> and he calls me an idiot. I wonder if Loon made it out. Lauren, please, please tell me you ran like I told you. Five minutes and 43 seconds. It's pointless. <sighs> Fuck! <sighs> She's losing consciousness. <sighs> Looks like we're gonna die. At least we alerted the APD. Hopefully everyone's far enough when this thing goes off. They have to be. Even if we get out, maybe I'll just bleed to death. Who knows? Lauren. Hey, shh. Shh. Listen. Thank you. Uh, thank you for helping me save them. For helping me since the beginning. I'm sorry you're stuck here with me. 
I'm glad we ran into each other that night. I know our partnership is a match made in hell, but I'm glad that it was you. <laughs> I'm glad I didn't kill you that night, too. Even if I've been friends with death for a while, this isn't how I imagined myself to go. But there are worse, there are worse people to die with. It's okay. Lauren, if this is the end, I have to tell you that I, unless this is not the end, the vents, Karen's, the vents, we saw a couple of those on our way in. They connect between floors, especially in big buildings like this one. And you want to. Yes, hurry, grab the bomb. Four minutes and 58 seconds. <laughs> we have no idea where they lead. There may be, not be a, an exit. We have to try, even if we die anyway. We have to get this bomb as far as possible from the rest of the nitrile. Let's go. Three minutes and 49 seconds. They're running two minutes and 36 seconds. One minute and 42 seconds. <gasps> 58 seconds. Wait, Chief! I think I see something something close to Hawks and Liddell location. Two individuals just got out of the vent with a time bomb and only seven seconds left. It looks like Loon. Five seconds. Wait, this was the wing where the Phantom Scythe was stationed with the nitro bottles. Four. Three. Stand back! Two. One. No! Lord! You can't. You can't. Ren? Where are you going? That was such a good episode. 
Okay, so that was season two finale. We're gonna go, I think there was like a recap one and we're probably gonna skip through it uh, and then go proceed to the next episode, okay? I was like, Q&A. <laughs> Q&A, do you ship any of the character, like any of the characters? We only ship Nitro. What did Kim say in season two, episode 58 to William? I will blank, 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 and blank, blank, blank. Yes, you're welcome. Do you think one day you'll be able to release the webtoons in physics or animation? Yes. <laughs> the equation. Why do you make us suffer so much this season? To all the questions asking why we keep making readers suffer, stop saying the word suffering. We're giving y'all a gift from the gods. Be grateful. When will the other webtoons you planned on working on come out? I remember you saying Purple Hyacinth would end in June or July if you couldn't find a new artist. And the stress that caused led me was insane. Poor effing soul. It's been almost five months. Still April fooled. Will the chair get the destruction it deserved? Only if we include a wrestling match between all the fans and the one who wins can wrestle with the chair. What's your favorite uh, crazy fan theory for the story? That Dylan is Bella. It's my own fan theory. If you were to be forced to rebrand PH into another genre, what would you choose? Comedy. I watch my childhood friends die in an explosion and I blame myself for not being able to stop it. Haha, <laughs> so funny. Slaps, that's why tears. <laughs> How are y'all so effing talented? Is it the water you drink? Here, have some of our collection of tears. What's the character would look like in the 21st century, but not as a corpse or grave? Pile of dirt. At least you tried. Is there any major decision that made you in the development of the second season that changed the course of what you originally had in mind? Everything. How do you guys put on, put one plot together with another? Like, this season is so cool. With the despair, tears, and a bottle of vodka. Equivalent child exchange of pain between creators and readers. Any funny, confusing concept sketches you want to share? I sent this picture to my editor once because their sketch looked the red as their drawing. Look, HB, I did a fan art of your art. <laughs> Me and my best friend want to start a webtoon. What would you suggest to get started? By reevaluating your life decisions. Just kidding, hum. Um, I think oftentimes people think too much and never end up doing anything. I think there's, I don't think there's anything specific that you have to get started with. How we did it is dive in head first with whichever inspiration that strikes first. Go with the natural flow of creative creativity. Why is there not a single cameo of an animal in PH? Hate to announce this to you, buddy. But I think it's because you might be blind. <laughs> oh, all the animals. <laughs> Both lined by my assistants. I, I can't say the name. A Akikakis? Does Kieran have an ass? Look at my ass. <laughs> is Lauren dead? At dead Sophians, but Sophism. Da dead Lauren, please answer the question. <laughs> Would the story be any different if Lauren didn't have those beautiful, pensive, golden eyes? Oh, thank God. Please feed Lauren. Here. Tears. <laughs> WTF. Sorry, that's all I have. I can't even put the, out the nitro explosion with this. I guess they didn't cry enough to cry, try to save you. See you in season three. Oh my gosh. All right, to the next one. Oh, I hope it's not too long. Season two recap murder board. Who is the leader? Trevor? No. Onslow, no. Coden, Blakesley, no. Ryan Fleming, banker, WP associate. Carmine Camilla, December 26th. 
WP meeting at the Carmine Camilla between Sake, Flemings, Lloyd, Davenport, and Messenger. Five? Seven. I keep forgetting what number that is. <laughs> it's seven, right? Number four. I need to start learning these. Findings. Redcliffe wants to, stri to strike soon. Nitroglycerin is being smuggled into Artelis by ships. Last cargo of nitroglycerin will arrive on February 14th. How convenient. Redcliffe's stock is hidden somewhere underground. Lloyd's Glass Factory. Messenger. What number is that? Where we go? Where we go? Okay. V two T seven. That's a seven. Has a tattoo on his right wrist. Messenger seven. Tattoo on his right wrist. But we don't know what it is, but something there. Belladonna Davenport. PS Assassin. MO Golden Viper Venom. She's one of like one of my favorite villains so far. Uh, role and weapon operation supervisor for the apostle seven getting rid of nu nuisance double agent for the leader what happened with Naira darcy what is her past with kieran february 17th oh the circus ticket fleming's ticket for a private reception yes no i don't know oh yeah sake tim sake is eliminated Involved in the Allendale tragedy, murdered Kevin Chow, framed his ex-wife, role in WP, overseas associate, killed by Davenport. Le Journal, Journal, Circus Royale, back in town, Bri brilliant circus troupe, founded by the Viscount Albert Redcliffe before he acquired his title, started off as a band of orphans from Grey Chapel in X-12. XX12, who traveled all around the world, mini charity raising. Circus Royale, they will be performing at Viscount Redcliffe's annual ball, which he has turned into a charity event. All the fines, funds collected from the reception will be given to the Dunn Hospital on the South Shore. Circus Royale, findings. Only the elite members of the circus, the Panther. Pantheon, bear the Circus Royale tattoo. By Count Radcliffe's private reception on February 17th is in fact a charity gala where many influential peace people and nobles are invited. Davenport is part of the Pantheon, performing under the stage name of Hestia. Raphael Hawks, known as Apollo within the Pantheon, harbors a tattoo on his wrist. Zyphers and Orpheus' wrists were hidden during their performance. Raphael slash Apollo. And as we all know, Will's brother. Tim Sake Sinclair's driver, the Sinclair's car. November 23rd. According to Kieran, the kidnapped children may be dead, but why were they abducted? Who were they and why did they die? Who was Robin Delaney? Abel Sandman. I owed Tim Sake a favor, and before I knew what I was getting myself into, I was prisoner of their claws. They had too much against me, but a few weeks ago, everything changed. I have nothing left to lose now. Murdered the Sinclairs on an order from the leader, never knew why. His daughter, Clara, a double agent for the APD, was murdered two months ago. He decided to help Lauren and to turn himself in and drag as many phantoms down with him. Sandman lied about not knowing the abducted children. What does that mean? Rachel and Alexander Sinclair. Her parents, Lauren's parents. Rachel and Alexander Sinclair were part of the group of the Snapdragon, a what? Prolific? Pacific? Protest group. I can't read that. Uh, they were secretly slaughtered on the Monarch's order, but the Sinclairs survived along with other another member, who then became the founder and head 
leader of the Phantom Scythe. Who was it? How did the Sinclairs know him? What did they do to get murdered? People of Ardalus. For how long will decent men and women of Ardalus accept to live in these indecent conditions? The Avester family is guilty of crimes they have tried to keep buried. The Snapdragon. Telephone. They are all dead. The point of no return. But it is not the end. And then that was what Orion's and Son, the print shop. Apostles. The Apostles are the leader's closest accomplices. Originally 13. They are down to seven Apostles now. Only four of which are the surviving originals. Apostle 7 is one of the of them. Their identity is known and only the original knows the leaders. Each of them has a territory uh, or a specific type of operation they are in charge of. Apostle 7. Assassination of Espionage. Espionage? Espionage? Hold on, guys. That is an interesting word. I don't think I can say it. How do you say this? Espionage. Espionage. 13 apostles, terrorists, thieves, killers, supposedly kill fighting for a better world. By announcing themselves in an opposition to the monarchy, the Phantom Scythe sent a clear message. They will co consolidate power in the dark until the day we they can overthrow the crown and the class hierarchy it relies on. Considering the mystery surrounding the leader, no one knows his real goal. Justice, revenge, making a better world, lured the desperate, desperate in, money and power kept them and attracted the more corrupt. The Allendale train station tragedy. 243 deaths, 328 wounded, and 176 reported missing. It's, it's bad recently been brought to the authorities' attention that a group of rebels was quickly forming in the shadows. Secret Service inf informator, now suspected to have been a double agent, reported that the group of terrorists would try to bomb the castle on November 15th instead of the Allendale train station on the 13th. The investigation unit believes the police was led to enforce the security at the wrong location and date on purpose. <clears throat> Apostle 7, Finances and Weapon Operation. Nitroglycerin, tons of crates and nitro and weapons hidden in the basement. Lloyd Inc. Glass Factory. Elvira Lloyd, Factory Owner. Weapon Operation. Man, it's a lot. <laughs> Directed by the Apostle 7 on the leader's orders, objectives. Importication of weapons, ammunitions, and explosives for the revolution. McTrevor, Onslow, Blakesley, and Coden were managing the front business. Discovered by Loon, arrested by the APD, and then assassinated by the Purple Hyacinth. Apostle 7 hijacked the operation for his own interest behind the leader's back. Ooh. Preparing his own revolution, secretly imported considerable amounts of nitroglycerin brought to Ardalus by Flemings and Sake and hidden in the basement of El Avera Lloyd's class factory. Although trusted by the Apostle 7, Davenport is spying on him for the leader, ordered to eliminate the rebels when the right time comes. Who is Apostle, Apostle 7? Who is his messenger? What will happen to Apostle 7 now that his immunity has been publicly exposed? Tristan Sinclair, Chief of Police, Oliver March, Detective, Hugues Herman, Captain, 11th Precinct. Who else is a spy? Harvey, Officer. He got eliminated by Davenport with a venom. Here's the map. Enjoy season, season three. Oh my gosh, that was a lot to read. <gasps> Ooh, that this read this this week read is over twenty minutes. Oh my gosh. Previously on season two, oh, we need another uh, recap.
please turn on your sound. All right, guys, we're ready. I'm making sure my music should be able to play. <gasps> huh? He is having a flashback. <gasps> Loom saved us all. Purple Heisen, episode 106. We counted 17 dead and 20 wounded on our side. We are still retrieving bodies. The Phantoms escaped in the f chaos. But we've captured four of them alive and sent them to the tower for interrogation. Thank you, Captain Herman. Once everyone is evacuated and the fire is controlled, the bomb squad will try to breach the basement doors. We'll close the security perimeter around the neighborhood. As soon as there are, your team are done scouting the building, no one but the intervention team will be allowed to set foot within a 500 meter radius of here until the crates are removed. I've also been informed that the civilians that were evacuated from the area area have reached the temporary shelters. 17 death. That number could have been so much higher. They've been hiding that arsenal right under our nose this entire time. Who knows what else they got? Oh, I intend to use every means I have to find out Captain Herman. McIntyre Hospital. Will and Kim. Mendel? Take cover! Huh? She's having a flashback. Randall, did you bring more equipment? I'm out of ammo! Go! No, 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 no. Lauren, please. No, please, no, no, no. I'm so sorry. I'm so... I'm so sorry. Please don't leave me. I haven't seen Lauren. Do you know where she is? No. Haven't seen her.
Dr. F. Emerus, M.D. Kim, even if, even if she, you know, for her moment, I let myself hope I was wrong, that she was safe at home, that she would pick up the phone and prove me wrong. She could be anywhere, and even if it was her, maybe she survived and was brought to another hospital. It was her. It was her. It was her. You know, she saved me. Go. And I let her go. Get out of here. I thought... I thought I was helping her get away. She, instead... She... She could be... We can't know for sure yet, Kim. What the hell are we supposed to do? When Tristan realizes she's missing, he'll ask us what happened. How, how are we going to tell him it was his niece? Carrying the bomb that exploded right in front of all of us. We won't say anything. Not yet. Not until we even know for sure that she's missing. They could have found anything there. And there's even a small chance that we're wrong. We can't afford to panic now and ruin her life over nothing. I know, Will. I know. Reporting eight bodies in Southwest Corridor. Three injured, five dead bodies. North side cleared. There's something here. Those are too charred for identification. But from how much is burnt and considering their location. that are most likely boom. Oh, okay. I need a moment. Well, as I was reading it, I obviously felt a lot of emotion and I try to put myself in Kim's shoes, right? Like how she would feel just to realize her best friend possibly is gone. And it's just so heavy. And just to remember what's going on and the flashback. And, you know, obviously one of her friends are in the hospital fighting to survive here. But her main best friend is gone, you know. And they're at least they're smart. At least Will is there to talk things with her and tell her, like, okay, we don't know yet. We can't spill the beans. We can't be like, oh, yeah, she's the one who carried the bomb. Your niece, you know, that Lauren's the one who is part of the loon group. It's such, it's such a heavy read and it's so beautiful and wonderful. And it was, it's a long read. 34 minutes. That's a lot. <laughs> a lot of time for these two episodes and the recap and everything. Well, you guys got to tell me how y'all felt about this reading because it was be beautifully made. And I'm sorry if I stuttered and messed up. It's, it got me. Okay. <laughs> All right, guys. If you guys enjoyed the way I read this and react to this webtoon, feel free to subscribe, leave a thumbs up, drop some comments, check out my other reads. And if you guys are interested, check out my Patreon page if you guys want to support me. I'll catch you guys next time. Bye!